Good evening, good morning, <laughs> whatever. Let's start again. Let's start again. Hello! <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a more original greeting. I've been all castigated for my repetition. Anyway, tonight we're going to make a pesto sauce, which we're going to put on zucchini noodles. And uh, for those of you interested, the history of pesto goes back to the 15th century in the Genoa region of Italy, which uh, is in the north. And it's probably because of the rich seaside soil, mineral rich seaside soil that's there. Um, and the word pesto in Italian means to crush or to pound, because uh, it was originally done in a, a mortise and pestle. And it was a pine nuts and garlic, basil, and Parmesan cheese. And uh, so, it's, uh, so they started this in the 15th century and obviously if it ain't broke, we're not gonna fix. And so they still, you know, that's the way it's prepared today. So here we are, but instead of pine nuts, <laughs> we have walnuts uh, because that's what we have. And some nutritional yeast. Instead of what? Yeah. Walnuts? No, it, nutritional yeast instead of what? Oh. Oh, parmigiano. Yeah. Now, this isn't bad, but let's face it, it's not parmesan cheese, and I'm not gonna pretend that it's as good, but it's not bad. Not too bad a substitute. A uh, little lemon juice, aqua, that means the water, and of course, olive oil. So we're gonna uh, put this in the food processor, which I did not practice before doing this. But um, hopefully, I won't make too big of a fool of myself. So, I'm gonna open this guy up. And here's our fresh pesto, which we got out of the garden. And we'll put this in here. Man, this smells so good. Also, basil is really easy to grow. Even if you don't have a yard, you, if you can put it in a window box or you know, flower pot in your house or some, you know, just, it's really easy to grow and it smells just wonderful. Really, it's so great. You gotta do this in two. No, pack it in there. Pack it in there. Um, so I, uh, I hope everyone is uh, doing better than just coping with uh, the um, craziness. We've been busy. Uh, you know, working on volunteers. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so that cut you saw just now <laughs> is because I said something political and <laughs> I was censored. Uh, they, they, they came in, those guys that are like not identifiable and they came in with a stick God. and told me to stop. So I'm not gonna go there, all right? I'm not, I'll try. Okay, so we're gonna, we have our basil in the food processor and we're gonna start putting stuff in there. So these are the walnuts. Put walnuts in there. And... That's nine a, cloves of garlic. Well, this is a Protestant portion of garlic. Uh, I'll put more in when you're, when, when you're not looking. Put our olive oil. Yay. You know, olive oil is good for everything. My father was a painter, a house painter, and uh, he worked in the unions in New York. And sometimes when he had you know, paint on his face, he never used chemicals. He always used olive oil to take the droplets of paint off his face. I always remember. And when he died, he had like this, not a wrinkle on his face. <laughs> you know, his personality was terrible, but his face looked beautiful. So, okay, so here's our nutritional yeast, make believe Parmigiano cheese. Yeah, but it tastes good in, in, in pesto. Yeah, after you smoke a joint. Okay, and our lemon juice. Great. And a little water, which we may need more, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. So now... Pulse it. Yes, Tom. <laughs> Please. I don't know. So 
I didn't want to bore you with the tedious process. It's not tedious, it took a little while, but there's no reason. I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple, but it's, this was a, this is three and a half zucchini. As you can see, that's a lot. So I cut one. Now this spiralizer, uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, is really handy. It's only about 16 bucks uh, at Walmart or something like that, you get it online. And it's great because you can make uh, zucchini noodles uh, if you don't want to have pasta, like regular pasta. And they're al dente, and, and it's really simple to do. This, this is it, right? Put it in there. That's how simple it is. And uh, not exactly high tech. See, I gotta do this backwards, because everything in the world is made for right-handed people. <laughs> and I figured out, you know, left-handed people can survive in the world, in the right-handed world. Right-handed people would lose their mind if they had to operate in the left-handed world. So we're gonna kind of do everything inverted and backwards. Um, but, because normally you'd crank it, you know, the other way. Anyway, so th this is it. Now what I like to do, um, because, So what I do with these, because they're really long, so I, I cut it up so that it makes it more manageable. I like it this way, because otherwise they're too long. Even when I cook regular spaghetti, I normally break it in half. So that's it. That's what I do. Okay. So here we have a whole bowl of spaghetti. And let's see. What, just, just take a bowl and put some noodles in it? You know, I was just going to take a bowl and put some noodles in it. <laughs> Thank you. Because I was about to do that. Oh, look, do we have these things? So we can really look like a little more elegant. So here we are. No ice. No I, ice? I said, I said nice. Oh, no ice. Okay. <laughs> noodles, no ice. Now, we have our pesto. Now, you don't have to get a big food, food processor, you can use a little one. I mean, they used to do this with a mortar and pestle. I mean, it must have taken a lot of time. So here we go. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And all of it's green and all of it's fresh. The basil came out of the garden today. And so now, All right, so here we are. Uh, you know what? No, I what? think you should test it because, and then they can hear the sound of your voice rather than like, look at me here. I'll, I'll give you some. Here. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Now, if you want, you know, if you want, you could put cheese on it. It's not against the law. You know, for some people it is, but. I like it room temperature too. Mm. You could heat up the zucchini if you want. Uh, in a, you know, if you want to use a microwave, you can heat it up, but at room temperature is just fine. It's really good. We'll, we'll pull, post all the ingredients uh, online and this is so good, really filling, good for you, and kind of fun to make. And, uh, so I wish you all well. Um, and uh, I know these are crazy times, but don't let the bastards get you down. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for showing up.